Another key thing to remember while we're working with equations is I can swap the size of the equation around. So, for example, sometimes they're presented with one number on one side and the letter on the other side. And if you find that awkward, it's quite acceptable just to throw everything over the other way. So here we go. I've just thrown those over. So I've got my letter on the left-hand side. That makes me feel more comfortable. Right, so I'm going to get rid of uh, plus 23. So x equals 11 cross over here, minus 23. So 23, take away 11. It's a minus number, isn't it? It's going to be 2, 12, minus 12. x equals minus 12. My letter is on its own, and the job's done. Let's try another one. 7 plus t equals 5. And again, let's just this time I'm going to throw it the other way around. It doesn't make a difference. 5 equals 7 plus t. I'm allowed to do that. It doesn't change the sum, but it might make it easier for you to work out. Okay, I've got plus 7 here. I want to get rid of plus 7, so that's 5, shove that along, take away 7 equals t, and that would mean that uh, 5 take away 7 is minus 2 equals t. The other way around, isn't it? t equals minus 2. Okay, let's try a slightly more complicated one to finish with, a combination. 20 equals... 13p take away 6. So I don't like the letter on the right, I want the letter on the left. So here I go, I'm going to swap it over. 16, sorry, 13p take away 6 equals 20. Get rid of the plus minus first, so 13p equals 20 plus 6, 13p equals 26. I'm going to uh, cross multiply, so multiply becomes divide. p equals 26 over 13, and that's, that's two 13s in that, so p equals 2. Job done.